In this video, we're going to help you get better at your awareness and anticipation. We're going to show you how far down the road it's good to be looking. We're going to point out some of the things you should be looking for. We're going to use orange circles to show you potential hazards and red circles to show you developing ones. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel and comment below once you've watched it. Hope it helps. So here we go. If we start, we've got this triangle sign for traffic lights ahead. So we're going to check our centre mirror and ease right off that gas pedal. Now looking ahead, we can see the traffic lights green. So that means it's probably stale. It's probably going to go red soon. There it goes. So again, checking our mirrors, just progressively braking gently to stop at the line. Trying to anticipate if it's going to go green before we get there. Looking around for other traffic's movement, seeing if we can see other lights. There we go, centre left, right for Bob and Tom as it's gone green. Just as we arrived. Now going ahead, we're going left at the roundabout. So centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Centre left mirror, left chin to shoulder check to make sure it's safe to change lanes. Now again, we've got a red light here, so checking our mirror. Progressively braking, so we're going to stop at the line. Now we're not just going to relax when we get to this line. We're going to try and work out when it's going to go green. We can do this by looking to see if the traffic to the right is stopping. We can also try and see if we can see their traffic lights. Sometimes you can see it slightly from an angle. So there we go. Gone green, centre left right for Bob and Tom. Checking to the right to make sure nobody's crossing a red light. As we come around the corner here, we can see a pedestrian crossing straight away. So it's a good scan left and right. Check in the yellow box if anybody's pressed the button. We can also see the roads merging into one lane. So lots of centre mirror, right mirror to check that no one's trying to squeeze around us at the last minute. Now we're in this new road, we're looking for things like the petrol station on the right, anybody could come out of that. There's a guy walking his dog on the left, so we're checking that the dog's on the lead and it's in, in control. For all of these things, we're just keeping an eye on our mirror, just in case we need to brake for them, it's good to know what's going on behind us. So looking ahead, again we can see some more people on the paths in the distance. There's also some buildings on the left, looks like there's an entrance road. So again we'll check our mirror and we'll just ease off, just in case anybody's going to pull in and out without seeing us. Now in the far, far distance, we can just about make out a pair of round signs with yellow backgrounds. Normally a pair of round signs is a speed limit change. So we're gonna prepare for that. So again, check in our mirror, easing right off the gas. We can now see it's a pair of 30 signs. So we're progressively breaking down to 30. As we get a bit closer along the road, we can see a line of parked cars on the left. So any of these could pull out, any of the doors could open, people could walk out from in between them. So again, being very aware of what's behind us in case we need to brake for any of those situations. Now we can see some traffic lights ahead. We can see it's turning into two lanes and we're just following the road ahead. So we're going to be staying in the, the left lane. So it'll be centre mirror and left mirror to make sure it's safe to stay left. Now they are red at the moment, so gently progressively braking as if we're stopping at the line. Again, we're trying to anticipate when they're going to go green. So we're looking for other vehicles' movements. If the cars on the right start to stop, that might mean that our lights are about to go green. So as we're sat here, that's the sort of thing we're looking for, we're looking to the right to see what they're up to, seeing if we can see their green lights. There we go, centre left right for Bob and Tom as it goes green, and carrying on. Now before we get up to too much speed in the distance, we can see that there's another pedestrian crossing, and it looks like it is red, there is somebody crossing it. So we're gonna check our mirror, gonna start gently slowing down nice and early, so we might not even have to stop by the time we get there. There we go, the light's gone green, so we can carry on if it's clear, check in for Bob and Tom. Now there's a roundabout coming up, we're going to follow the road ahead second exit. Looking at the road markings on the floor down there, you can see it's the middle of the three lanes, as the left lane's left only. So starting to slow the car right down, looking to the right as early as possible to see if it's clear, but also looking to the left, you can just about see a temporary roadwork sign, so we're going to keep an eye out for those as we come onto the roundabout. Looks like they might have been cleared up for the day. There's lots of cones on the grass on the left-hand side. They're not going to be a problem. As we come round past the first exit, centre mirror, left mirror, left signal, and chin to shoulder check as we're doing a lane change. Now, as we're coming off the roundabout right in front of us, you can just about make out some Belisha beacons. They're, they're, you see those on zebra crossings. And then on this lamppost in front of us now, we can see the triangle sign for a zebra crossing. Looking across the corner, we can see a dad with a young young boy waiting to cross the road. So they're going to be there by the time we get there. There's also these pair on the left approaching the crossing as well. So coming up to the crossing, stopping at the giveaway line, putting the handbrake on if we stop for safety. And before we go, check in for Bob and Tom. Now ahead of us, you can see the bus on the left. Where there's a bus, there's a fuss. So we've got to be careful of anybody coming out from in front of him 
or if he puts his right signal on to pull away. So being very careful as we come around that corner. Now, as we come along here, we can't see around this next bend very well. So if we're checking our mirrors, just easing off the gas a little bit. We can now see some traffic lights, which is a pedestrian crossing. There's a couple of young people crossing it without waiting for it to go red. It's all safe to go now. Just as they come off, they've pressed the button and it's instantly gone to orange, but we were past the point of no return, so it wasn't a problem for us. So the next lights are going red. You can see some people on the right waiting. They've obviously pressed the button as well. So check in the mirror, gently braking to come to a gentle stop at the line. Again, we're gonna put our handbrake on for safety. If anybody was to accidentally hit us from behind, we wouldn't wanna be budged forward onto the people. When the lights go green, we're gonna be checking for Bob and Tom. So center left, right, making sure nobody else is running towards the crossing at the last minute. And at the next set of traffic lights, we're gonna turn left. So it'll be center mirror, left mirror, left signal for the traffic lights. Again, trying to anticipate when they're going to change, looking at other vehicles' movements. But also, whilst we're sat here, trying to look across the corner to get a clue of what might be around there once we drive. Checking for Bob and Tom as we move off. Good look to the right, make sure nobody's run a red light. And as soon as we come around the corner, there's all sorts of things to look at. But the main thing is the pedestrian crossing in front of us. It is green, and it doesn't look like anybody's pressed the button, and there's nobody standing near it. So it's not a problem this time. We can now see a mini roundabout. We can see the little blue sign. It's a slightly closed roundabout, so we're approaching it nice and carefully, looking to the right nice and early. It's looking clear for us, so carrying on. Now, there's a lot of pedestrians around this area. We can see all these people on the left-hand side. So just being aware that they might walk out, they might cross the road. So here's the next mini roundabout. We're gonna follow the road ahead at this one. Now, if you look to the right, those bushes have made it a really close junction, so we're approaching it as we're almost stopping just so we can take enough time to make sure it's safe. Again, more pedestrians on the left there, so being aware of those as we come into the new road. New road, new mirrors. So driving along this bit of road, it seems a bit quieter than where we've just been, but there's still plenty to look for. There's plenty of roads on the left to be scanning, lots of driveways on the right to look at as well. We can't see around the next bend in the distance, so we're just constantly, every, every five to 10 seconds, checking our middle mirror, just so we know what's going on in case we need to brake. There's a parked car, so centre mirror, right mirror to go round it. It is a bit narrow with the oncoming cars, but there's plenty of room, so we just slowed ourselves down. So there's a mini roundabout here again. We're gonna follow the road ahead. It opens up a little bit our, our view on the approach. So we're good and safe to go. So new road, new mirrors. Again, looking in the distance, we've got another pedestrian crossing coming up. The car in front is signaling and braking. So we've just got to ease off until he's out the way. Now we can see there's some people on the right here. Does it look like they've pressed the button? No, they've just walked past, so we're okay to carry on. Now as we're going ahead, the road's getting a little bit narrow and we can see these signs telling us it's gonna be a one-way street. We can see there's the road from the right, but you can see that there's a giveaway line in front of them to come onto the road in front of us, so we know it's our priority. Now we're gonna be taking the next road on the left. So center mirror, left mirror, left signal. Start to slow it right down, looking into the road as early as possible, see if there's anything that might affect us. And there's a parked van there, so we know something might be coming around it, so we're being very cautious as we turn in. As we can see, it's all safe to go. Now, as we come along here, we can just about make out a dead end sign. And now this little white sign on the left-hand side, it tells us that the priority of the road goes around to the left, and going straight ahead is a minor road, which is a dead end. It also looks really sharp to us, so we're gonna slow right down for it, almost like a, an approach junction, down to about 10 miles an hour, second gear, for exactly that reason, as we came round, that blue car was going round that red truck. Thanks for watching our video on awareness and anticipation. This is just to give you an idea of some of the things to look out for. Ask your instructor to go over the subject with you so they can help you fully understand how to deal with all the different situations that can arise. Please like our video, subscribe to our channel and comment below. We love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.